Hey everyone, Ryan Young, Comic Jiu-Jitsu, and thought I'd just kind of go over uh, some matches here that we recently did. Uh, this is the Nogi uh, submission grappling section of a tournament, and uh, the one on the the one with the big beard. That's uh, that's our student here in uh, the Dallas Fort Worth campus. Uh, this is going to be a very short video, but it, it goes to show the importance of drilling self-defense. And here's what happens: you kind of see it, and shaking hands like all good sportsmen do. Now watch, this happens quick. Don't take your eyes off. Boom, it's over. Um, yeah, so what you have to realize is that when you know, you do the simple self-defense stuff every day, headlock escapes, and that's a guillotine. So, you know, work on guillotine escapes and also setting them up. And, you know, whether the headlock is you're doubled over, you know, whether you're not doubled over, whether he's punching, whether he's not punching, whether he's trying to take you down, and you need to know this stuff. Now, will this happen all the time? No. But, you know, if you have an opponent who is, you know, not really proficient at uh, doing a single leg takedown and puts his head in the wrong spot, then, you know, there's the opportunity. And thanks to that, he, he finished a match in probably like five or six seconds. And that gives him more energy to go on to, a next, to his next match, which um, I think he... I think he did pretty well. Yeah, no, I know he, he always does well. I don't know exactly how uh, this particular um, tournament set out, but just uh, make sure you practice your self defense. And that's all I got for you. Bye. So here's a video, uh, another video um, done by this. Uh, as you can see, we don't have very many people that compete. It's not a big thing in our studio. Uh, this particular gentleman here uh, with the beard, uh, he he tries to compete kind of a lot um, and he actually uh, tore his meniscus about two weeks prior to this but went ahead and went for it anyway he kind of thought at this point it was it was okay to go to guard he's pretty confident in his guard I don't personally like my guys to go to guard to give up the guard first but you know it's a tournament it's not a fight so he's got butterfly guard here. The opponent uh, is controlling his second arm so he doesn't get choked from the front, which is a smart strategy. And, oh, sweet, because he's got his arm on his arm, he loses base. Kama Jiu-Jitsu member now gets the mount. I have no idea what the points are. I guess, is there a sweep in there? Probably a sweep and a mount. Um, you guys can tell me how many points this is. Trying to set up a mounted Ezekiel. And, you know, as we kind of teach, you know, once you're up at the top of the ladder, which is what we call the mount class, there's no need to jump off. You'll see a lot of guys, what they'll do is they'll jump off and they'll try to get the points. They'll jump off, go to knee and belly, and then go back to mount. And then jump off to knee and belly, and then go back to mount. Uh, whereas with us, you know, we don't really train for that. We're just trying to make sure we, we hold the position. And, you know, because tournament is one thing, I, I guess they, they're taking them out because they're out of bounds. Start them back on the mount. It's actually better because now we have a little better view. You know, good sportsmanship there. We all like that. As you can see, he's just trying to get underneath the arms. He's under one, one elbow maybe looking to, I don't know what he's trying to set up at this point. He's just trying to hold the position. The opponent's letting letting him get, get really high on him, which is never really a good thing. He's just playing with the neck a little bit. There's not really, doesn't really have anything. Got one hook in there in case he tries to upa him. I'm not sure what the student of bottoms rank is. Um, on top, the Kama Jiu Jitsu practitioner, he's a blue belt with one stripe. He actually started with us, I want to say December of 20, 2018. He's been training about a year and a half total. Well, not a year and a half as a blue belt. He got his blue belt in December of 2019 from Dave Kama. And got his first stripe in May or June. 
during the COVID crisis, it was, so it probably was me. Oh, he uh, sat back too early, but got lucky and was able to get the arm back in there, get the arm set and nice and tight, switch to the far side arm. Yeah, it's over, boom. <clears throat> so, you know, if you keep going for the submission, you keep working it, I always tell my students this, I go, if you, if you can get to the good position, it'll be a matter of time. On the other hand, if it's, if it's not in a tournament and you're in a fight, and just make sure that, you know, I'm not, you know, big on mounting in a street fight. Because of street fight, there's so many externalities that are kind of going around there. Um, you know, I'd be more apt to, you know, myself be in a, a knee and belly position instead of a mount. Because in the belly position, you're much more mobile if uh, there are more people that come that you, 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 know, you don't count on. Uh, whereas if you mount somebody, you're pretty, you're pretty much stuck there. Both your, you know, your four points of contact, you know, your two knees and your two feet. And if you're, your elbow's on the ground, then six points of contact. So, but, you know, the objective here is as you climb the ladder, as we say at Kama Jiu-Jitsu, climb the ladder and don't fall down the ladder. Don't willingly give up. Um, falling down the ladder. What a lot of people will do is they're, they're not super confident in their mount, so they'll, they won't really try to hold the mount. Instead, they'll be, they'll be okay with letting their opponent roll them and play guard, which is something that we, we don't allow. Um, it happens, of course, but it's not something that we willingly do. Nor do we go from mount to knee on the belly and then back to mount to knee on the belly just to get the points. If, I, I always tell everybody, look, if you hold the position... And you keep playing from that position, and it's a good position. It's inevitable. You will get it. Because let's say you can't submit the guy because the guy's defense is really good. Then don't worry about it. You know, just you know, st still keep trying. Don't just settle and hold a position. I do not like that. Uh, but instead, keep going for a choke. Keep going for an arm. Um, you know, try to submit your opponent. Uh, but in a fight, you know, you can always strike the guy. Um, you know, video ground and pound, which works perfectly. So anyway, that's all I got for you. Take care. Have a great day.